hello good morning beautiful day to everyone you're welcome once again to marriage diet on this sixth day of may 2022 it's a wonderful thing to be alive and it's a privilege we have to be alive in him in our maker you are listening once again to the voice of your regular host irena fragrance of same hope i'm so excited about this topic that the lord is sharing with us at this time because uh this was some of the um secrets we discovered many years ago before we started our marital journey that actually made us to uh, have a wonderful marriage here on earth a heaven on earth kind of marriage and the topic we just started is the original plan of god for marriage like i said in the first um part the first part 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 one of this series said everything has a plan there is nothing that does not have a plan on earth every human being even the chair there's a plan why the carpenter made it to sit down for instance the car there's a reason why the the auto engineer made them so many reasons behind the things that we see but whereby the purpose or the reason or the plan behind the thing is not used for that thing that thing will really be under abuse so i talked about the first original plan for marriage and i told us the lord intended marriage to be a soulish union i really want those of us that has not listened or have the privilege of listening to this first um, part to go and check it out listen to it so that you understand you follow us on this right of the original plan of god for marriage we abuse we are purpose no no i mean abuse is bound to happen so i told us god created man originally to be a soul so if you are created to be a soul so you have to live in that soulish realm in that eden state that soulish atmosphere for you to have your marriage full of bliss so today i will be sharing the other plan the original plan second original plan of god for marriage is agreement a place of two becoming one wow that was one of the original plans of god for marriage a place of agreement no discordant chain no this one singing a and the other party singing b you are on page one and the other one is on page 100 no and today because this has been taken away from homes no agreement any longer two no longer becomes one in fact the one has been split into ten ten parties in the home so that's what we have what we have happening in some homes so please i want you to look inward are you one in your home are you in agreement if there is no agreement in that home if both of you are not one there will not be sweet home so from being uh, having a soulish union now you know i started with soulish union two of you your souls knitted together having singing the same song be together what he's thinking in his mind that what you are doing because two of you have been knitted web together the same way god created us created you and i created adam and eve when he caused a deep sleep to fall upon adam and from his rib that one that is closest to the heart of adam he brought a rib very tender rib, and he formed you to be they be a passionate being to the man to compliment it always return back to him so that is the same way now when you return back you become one agreement that's one of the plan god had for marriage but this disagreement started way back from the garden of eden when adam decided to start going to his own on his own being his own sign on his own everything his career his own me myself and i and he left eve behind 
and for Eve to also like, ah, let me follow, let me run after this man whom I was taken from, this man that I just, I was, that, that a, a part of him was what was used to for me. Let me follow him. What did he do? Let me be interested in what he is doing. Also decided to stay alone. And what did we, what happened? The enemy crept into their midst. When you decide to stay alone in your marriage, what you are calling for is serpent, is Satan creeping into that friend of yours, that third party. You're always doing chichi cha 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 with every time. My husband chichi cha cha, my wife chichi cha. He will creep into her, will creep into him, and will bring about scattering trouble. They will tell you lies. They will mislead you. Meanwhile, they are patching their own marriages. They will come and tell you lies, cock and bull story, tell you what to do that they are not doing in their homes. So two, becoming one is a spiritual mystery. Two, can you just imagine? You are from one family, different from his, different tribe, and this one from that tribe, coming together and God says we should be one. So this is a spiritual mystery. So marriage full of the flesh will show so many suspicions. So if you are not able to become one such that you can vouch for yourselves, such that no other party will come and tell you something what is not, and you will not take, you cannot say, oh, I rebuke you. That you just said is a lie from the pit of hell. Never you tell me such rubbish. Let it be the last time. You know what you'll be doing? You'll be breathing suspicion in your home. You'll be sniffing what is not there. So one of the original plans, aside the marriage being a soulish union, is for two to become one. Marriage of agreement. So let's see what the Bible says also in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 24. And I know every one of us knows this scripture, but most times we forget what the Bible says. Until you start following your marriage, street to census, with the principles of marriage, the doctrine of marriage, what the Lord has said, what he's saying. You're not ready to make it work. We know it, and yet we don't abide. We don't we don't abide by it, we do not imbibe it, we don't even follow it. He says, Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother, and shall become united and cleave to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Now, let me shock you. Don't think it's only the man, oh, maybe the, the only the husband that the Bible is referring to here. Both the man and the woman. You too, you need to leave your family. You woman. So when the Bible says the man shall leave his father and who? His mother and shall become united. Can you see? Power of unity. United. United. And cleave. Cleave. Stay. Stay to your wife. United to your husband. Cleave to your husband. If you look at it, if they didn't cleave, enough to her husband adam as well did not leave his so-called father and mother and cleave and become united he was having fun yeah before eve was formed he had been a zoologist naming animals so excited about what he was doing those animals perhaps i'm sure they were his family the first um creature he knew when God formed it from the dust, they had maybe the lion, the dragon, elephant. Wow, they were his friends. So when Eve was formed, he did not leave those that company, didn't leave that party. He was still always with them. He did not carry Eve along. And now why this disunity, this agreement, two of them not becoming one happened. That's why one of the reasons the first marriage God instituted on earth failed. And today we still have same happening in our homes. We still have people having best friends outside at the expense of their own husband or wife or spouse that ought to have been their best friend. Long ago, I realized there is an error, very 
erroneous thing for you to leave your best friend outside and cleave to just your friend. So what will happen is, every time in your marriage, you will find yourself tilting to that your best friend that you left outside. Rather, you ought to have married your best friend and leave your friend outside. And that's what I did in the case of my husband first. So I had so many friends, but I chose to marry the best one amongst them. That was Festus. And that was the reason why I didn't have any other friend I relate to it till he died. No party. Till he died, I can categorically tell you, I am proud to say that I never took my matter to any friend one no not even my mother hey do you know there was a time my mom called me and she was angry she was quarreling with me that what kind of daughter are you you don't tell me anything you got married i see my friends they had they say the children always talk to them their daughters talk to them they tell me my daughter said this this is what is happening but you don't tell me anything and you're my first daughter you never told me to share anything with me that is happening in your marriage and she was saying i was looking at her she was saying you're looking at saying yeah mommy because there are nothing happening for me to share with you he says, is, is it possible i said yeah mommy it's possible we are each other's best friends we settle ourselves I said, mommy, honest, I don't know why you're making an issue out of nothing. There is nothing to say, so now I'm not saying anything. Honestly, I've never taken any matter from my marriage, my husband. Hey, we're each other's best friends, so we always trash it out. Anything to trash out, sometimes we might not sleep. So if anybody tells you, hey, as a marriage minister, uh, minister counselor, I never had is it like no chemistry is it like run from such counselor, run from such ministers. There is no marriage on there, no two human beings that don't have chemistries. If your tongue and your teeth could mistakenly fight sometimes, eating chewing meat just mistakenly by the tongue. So, what about you humans that are full of errors? But the beauty in it is that as best friends that we, 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 we were to ourselves, nobody ever came between us. Not even our children. Nobody. We could have heated argument. But because two of us have agreement, two of us, our souls are knitted, we're knitted together. We always have a way of coming around and settling ourselves. So if you are making this mistake, you left your best friend outside, your best friend is a woman or a man or whatever, and there's, there, there, are, there are things, issues in your marriage, you can't call your husband, can we talk? He doesn't have, even if he has fire on his head, please, with wisdom, pull the fire down, say let us talk, look at him face to face. My husband, you know I left others I married you because you are the best. If we're not the best, I'm not married. You are the best. So why all this? Can we just talk? Bible says, can two work together? I said they be agree. We need to agree. Okay, what is making you angry? Can we just talk? We first and foremost, if anything I've done, okay, I tender my apology. I'm so sorry. Let's talk. With wisdom, even if the man is had those key, has fire on his head, use sweet tongue, wise woman bring that fire down and talk to him build friendship in your marriage build unity build agreement take away all of that person take away outsiders from your union that was where the first marriage had crack started breaking it was on the day let me shock you that eve ate that apple for the forbidden fruit that she started eating it serpent started talking Toiling with her emotion. Where is your husband? Ah, as usual, he has gone again. You know now, he likes naming animals. Today, he will tell me he has seen one. Yesterday, he said he saw one. He has so many um, patches all over its back. He named the cockroach that. I don't know what he will say today. Eh? Why don't you wait for me? Ah, me, I don't know. Before I wake up, maybe he would have gone. He, he, he didn't invite me. Now. I can't go to where he didn't invite me. That's pride. You are proud. Followed by force. Find out what are you doing, what's that, that how is what to the gist. That's one of the things you do that make two of you to have to have your soul knitted together. Jeez, when my husband was alive, whenever I travel, I return back. Sometimes you say fragrance, go and rest. No, hey, I would download everything. I would talk, I would talk. Hey, okay, okay, you eat first. Okay, I put water in the bathroom. Come on, say, let me feel. Let me if I don't talk, I will not have peace. Let me just say it. Let me say it. I will talk. I saw this one. This one happened. Hey, look at what happened. Look at how this person was just, hey, hey we will talk. Sometimes we will laugh. From talking, from talking, we will have fellowship. We will have our bath. And that's how we're building our beautiful relationship in the marriage. Same thing with him. He was 
someone that never liked talking. But I soon rub off on him. He will come out and say, I want you to download. I better come and download. Are you just saying you just will nothing happen? Did anybody look at you? Did you have any admirer? He will laugh, say fragrance, I say flourish, and I let's talk. He will say, I'm tired. I say, no, you don't worry. When you finish talking, I will minister to you. I will scratch your back. Don't worry. Let's talk. I will tickle him. Okay, say, okay, what happened? What happened? Hey, okay, that I also built it. He will come by, will tell me, fragrance, let's talk, let's just, I will talk. We became just me. You can build it again. When you're your husband, just mate, just partner, nobody can come in between the two of you. You always have someone to, to empty your can with. Always have somebody to, to talk to, to, no matter how hot you are. No matter, see, there was nothing I didn't share with my husband. No matter what, I shared everything. Shared, I mean, everything with him. So, today, what we have working against marriage is whereby the husband is in uh, pool A and the wife is in pool D. Far from each other parallel line and they don't meet this one go to work meet early come back late come back too tired yeah tired but they have a cheese meet in their place of work they have someone they talk to they have someone they carry their marital issue to but you don't carry your office matter to your wife to talk at home i'm so tired and just yeah you know, i just need to sleep wake up again you, you're living a life of career that's why two of you are not together that's why there's a serpent already looking someone already t- see what you hear mostly affect the mind affect the body it gets if you re- it gets retained in your heart it starts disturbing your mind so please i beg you you need to leave your friends man that man listen to me leave your friends Leave those come you had before you got married. Hear what the word of God says in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. If you leave the father and mother, hear woman, you to leave your friends, those your clique, gossip we used to talk, leave them. Make your husband your gossip partner now. And not though there's no crime, no offense in that. Leave them. Bible says leave, cleave, be united. So stop, don't allow a third party. Two shall become one is a mystery. Normally, mathematically, when you say one plus one, it becomes what two. So this is the first time the law of mathematics is broken. In the eye of God, you are not two, you are one. And now that is why sometimes God allows some things in marriage, some errors. He allows them because and some errors he takes the the the, the takes the blame on the on the on the couple on the parties that are involved. Honestly, like in my case and my husband's case, for instance, I was supposed to have been doing a particular thing, but I was not doing it. And the Lord drafted my husband into it to be doing that thing. And he did it for so many years until he called him home. But God allowed him because in the eyes of God, like he told me later, that he allowed him to be doing that thing, which I ought to be doing because he sees the two of us as one. That is why if you join yourself to a prostitute, as a man outside you sleep, you defy the marriage bed. It is not only you. In the eye of God, you have also dragged your wife into it. Because no why? You still come back and couple that same body to your wife. As a woman, as well, if you misbehave, you do a manner of thing, you, you fool yourself as well, as well outside, you are doing one thing that is in the eye of God, it's two of you that are doing it. Because in the eye of God, God is not seeing you as one. He's not seeing only Mary or seeing only Jacob, Joseph. No, he sees Mary and Joseph together. So, because you will still come back and couple yourself. And when you couple yourself, it is in that couple that God sees you as one. That is where the power of agreement comes. That's where most time people that are wise, couples that are smart, that know the scripture, that know the mystery of coupling, at that point, whatsoever you agree on net will be established. We did it several times in marriage when we have major issues, major pro, pro uh, projects to, to, to do to carry out. We carry out prophetic prayer when we are doing our coupling. Please. Try and listen to what I'm saying. I'm telling you the truth. We discovered this many years ago before we ever got married. And we follow these biblical principles. These biblical principles, we followed it. And this original plan of God, we detected, we realized it, And we followed in that sense. Wow, I had, in fact, at a time, it was as if the whole world was just still, was not working. I had one thing working for me, marriage. And I was happy, I was fulfilled. I can boastly say I had a fulfilled marriage 
and today that is why i'm running a race i'm begging you your marriage can be sweet again there are things you are not doing well some ingredients you are not putting in your marriage with the eye of faith because during the anniversary our uh, minister our uh, guest minister said we should always look at marriage as we well in the eye of the spirit marriage also has its own spiritual dimension we'll talk about talk about it some very soon so please i want to beg you if you had drifted away please return back be united once again and cleave to your wife cleave to your husband leave those person outside cleave to your family ask god for the grace to talk to gist when you talk it's good you 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 become light to gist to play make your children your best friend your husband your best friend your wife your best friend by so doing you start this agreement of a thing you start coupling yourself you start becoming one two of you will sing one song it is whereby a man is not in agreement with his wife that somebody will come from outside and report the wife and say, I know, it's true, she can do it. Don't matter, she's a useless woman. No. Even if you know her, or she she did it or she can do it, she will start to defend her. That's her agreement. You can get back and say, honey, I just defended you. But why did you do it? I didn't want to be against you. Please don't do it again. It's not good. That's love. Please. I want us to have it sweet because it's one life, one existence. Enjoy it to the fullest. Just as Christ has already planned it for us. God bless you. And I pray that as many marriages that are on the verge of breaking, that are not united, the God of marriage, the God of the God of Apostle Festus Flores, the man who that gave him this mandate, and the mandate is still only sweet, that gave him sweet hope here on earth, will instill that sweet hope, sweet only in your homes in the name of Jesus Christ. I want the, we, our number actually almost changed due to some logistics, some things happening, this NIN registration in Nigeria. However, it has been sorted out, but there's a number that you can reach us through. We have a WhatsApp number, and we have two numbers normal lines now the two normal lines that you can reach us through are plus two three four nine one six two zero one seven 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 and plus two three four eight zero double six five four double three nine four and our WhatsApp number now is still plus two three four eight one zero seven one two six one four eight. Please share this podcast. Share it everywhere. Share it. Keep sharing. You never can tell whose home you will be saving. I decree sweetness in your home. I decree sweet home to you. I decree sweet, 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 sweetness into your home today in the name of Jesus Christ. Never forget as well that if marriage is an institution, couples and singles must be students. Always remember that marriage care truly cares. Have a wonderful day. Bye.